my suggestion to all young people, if you could just hear me clearly, don't do what I did. Most people I know mess off all of their twenties. From twenty to twenty-nine, they just jack it off. They just jack off their twenties. They mess them up. Because twenty is that age, man, where you just really just trying to have too much fun. You're free. You're out of college. You don't live at your mama's house no more. You're out on your own. So what do we do? Mostly all of us, 98% of the people I know, we spend our 20s trying to exert ourselves in the fun category. We so big, we got to get off work so we can go to happy hour. We got to get off work so we can go get high. We got to get off work so we can go drink a cold one. We got to get off work, go smoke one. We got to go hang out with the fella. We got to play video games. The average person blows all of their 20s then when you find out that life ain't waiting on you, now you're 30. Now guess what happens to mostly all of us, including myself. I spent all of my 30s trying to do the things that I should have been doing in my 20s. So now my life is behind. Now you look up and you're 40s. you in your 40s. And now you're trying to do the things and have the things that you could have had in your 30s, man, had you just done what you should have did in your 20s. And then the tragedy starts to occur. You look up and you're 50. Now, that don't mean it's too late for you because it wasn't too late for me. But you look up and you're 50. And now all of a sudden, all through your 50s, you're trying to create and have a life that you could have created and had in your 30s. You tried to have it in the 50s. My suggestion to all young people, if you could just hear me clearly, don't do what I did, man. So you look at my life now and you think, oh, Steve, you, you got it going on. Man, you don't know how hard I made it on myself taking the route that I took. If I could start over again and, do, and change one thing, I would buckle down in my 20s. While you young and energetic, alleviate some of that BS that you so dedicated to. The 20s, man, you dedicated to the girls, the dudes, the video games, the clubs, the happy hours, that smoke, that drink, that freedom. You so... But in dedicating yourself to that freedom and that fun, man, you lock yourself out of the American dream. And it happens to 98% of the people. And the reason I know it is because it happened to me. And if I could tell anybody, man, if I could do it again, I would have changed the way I live my 20s. And if I was in my 30s, you really in your 30s, it's time out for clubs and drinking and happy hours and parties. In your 30s, you should just be about the business of your life. Because say what you want to say about me, uh, every time I hear Steve, man, he's trying to preach to somebody. I'm really just trying to share some valuable information now, because I live the, all the messed up sides of it, man. Flunking out of school, man. Losing everything I ever had. Divorces. I'm telling you, man, I did so many things wrong. I made so many mistakes. Homeless, living in a car. I made incredible mistakes. I could have avoided a lot of those. Now, it created who I am. Now, once you've made the mistakes, just get up, man. Quit, don't wallow in them. Because you can recover from all mistakes. But you gotta wanna recover. You gotta ask for forgiveness. You gotta go to all the people that you crossed and you're wrong and you let down. You gotta say, look, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Forgive me and move on. Now, everybody ain't gonna forgive. That's life. God is in the forgiveness business. I'm just telling you, man, the reason I throw God out there is because God is available for everything. I got you. I always wanted to be rich. But if you want to be a downright hardcore successful, have a little extra money, you got to get busy. Whatever you're doing right now, as hard as you think you're working, you got to quadruple that. And then when you look up and that ain't working, like here's my father always told me, 
and I'm gonna let y'all go. He said, son, when you think you've done all you can do and you can't do no more, do something.